Welcome back Padawans to another exciting ability system hot bar video. In today's video, we will implement the cast bar interrupt. We will also do a bit of animation on the cast bar when the interruption occurs. It doesn't get any more exciting than that. Let's not wait any longer. Let's go. To start things off, go to your player character blueprint event graph. First, we need to create a new event dispatcher. Name it interrupt cast. Anything we call this on will hear the dispatch and interrupt the cast. Find the movement input and drop a not equal node. Connect the return value from the get forward vector and the get right vector nodes. Connect a branch and call the interrupt cast dispatcher. If you have the mouse movement code for my Jedi series video, copy these nodes and connect them up there as well. Next, open the cast bar blueprint and go to the graph. In the event graph, we need to get a reference to the player character so that the cast bar knows when it's being interrupted and by what. Find the event construct. We will need the get player character and cast two for the player character. Promote this to a variable. Now, bind event to interrupt cast. When the cast bar is created, it binds the player character reference to the interrupt cast dispatcher and waits to hear from it. Pull from the event and create event. From the dropdown, select the interrupt cast function. This will be the event the cast bar will follow when it hears the dispatch. Open the ability blueprint and create a new function. Name it interrupt cast. Go back to the cast bar blueprint. In the interrupt cast function, drag the ability out and select get. From here, Search for the interrupt cast function we made in the ability blueprint. For now, add a set visibility node and set it to hidden. Also, we need to change the ability to a validated get. It must be checked every time or we will get an error. In the ability blueprint interrupt cast, we will tell the cast bar to destroy itself with a destroy actor node, if you want, and a print string to give you a notification of interrupted. Save and compile. If I move with the keyboard keys, the cast is interrupted. It also works with mouse movement. We could end the video here, but let's add an animation to the cast bar to make it look better when interrupted. Go into the cast bar designer, 
Open the Animations window by going to Window and selecting Animations. We now have an animation editor open. Click the plus animation button to create a new animation. Call this one Interrupted. We want the cast bar to fade quickly when the ability is interrupted. Click on the cast bar root, click the add button, and click cast bar root. This will add the root to the timeline and will affect all parts of the cast bar. Now we can add tracks to the root. Click the plus sign to change the render opacity. The opacity will start at 1, but if we move the slider to 1.5 seconds, we can set it to 0 to fade out. You can better see what is happening if you click out of the cast bar root. Now we need to add the cast bar itself to the timeline. Add a track to the cast bar and select fill color and opacity. We need to bring the percentage out to see the green bar. At the zero keyframe, let's change the color to red. Set the B to zero and G to zero. Scroll the R until you achieve the red color you like. Add another track to the cast bar and add the percent. Set it to one to fill the bar. Test it out. We should change the text to say interrupted. Switch over to the graph and the set visibility can be deleted. Drag out the interrupted animation we just created and add it to a play animation. Next, get the ability name text and the set text function. In the text box, type interrupted. Now try it out to see if it works. The progression of the cast bar still moves out. Also, I can only click on it once to make it work. Let's fix that. Basically, we don't have anything in the code to keep the tick event from running the timer. So get the cast timer and clear and invalidate timer by handle. That should keep the timer from running. Check it out. As far as not being able to make it work, but once it's actually working, but we have code in place to keep it hidden after the animation runs. In the event graph, click on the interrupted animation and find an event called animation finished. Get the set visibility and set it to remain hidden. Now we need to create another animation in the timeline to reset the cast bar. Add another animation in the cast bar designer and call it reset. Click on the cast bar and make sure the reset animation is highlighted as well. Add fill color and opacity once again. To match the original green, just click on the cast bar to make it set the RBG numbers if they aren't already. We don't have to key in any other frames other than frame zero. Now add the cast bar root. Give it the render opacity like before. Leave it at one. Go to graph mode and click on start cast. Drag the reset animation out in a play animation node. Connect it up. Compile and save. Try it out.
great, another job well done. We've come a long way on this Ability Hot Bar sub-series, but there is more to come. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, it appears no friend to me It's not...